Oh, like, congratulations on the win. I know you've said before about um, the need for scruffy goals. Mason's probably scored better goals for United, but was that your favourite, given the importance of it and manner of it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, so happy for him. Pleased, you know, his overall performance again. Very good. He was bright, he was tidy, he was clean on the ball. Hit the post. Uh, one that he uh, went over the bar, maybe deflected uh, in the second half. And when he gets those goals, we know that uh, he's going to add uh, another dimension to his game. Very, very pleased. James Cooper? Oli, I know it's a pleasing win. Is it also a sense of relief, bearing in mind you've given a, a team a bit of a start, but this time come back and got all three points? We've done that a few times this season, haven't we? And we're getting used to it. And that's, you know, you don't really want to be in a position uh, one nil down. We, it was a sloppy uh, mistake in mid midfield. We don't stop the, the cross. We don't defend the cross. So we gave, us, gave ourselves work to do. And then I think done that so many times this season that the team doesn't panic. We know we have to build momentum, the performance, that the ball has to move quicker, we have to move uh, in more tandem with each other. And the two goals we scored were, uh, were two good goals and deserved to, uh, to win the game in the end of that round. Sam and Peach. Ali, sorry, it wasn't amazing. Um, could, you, could you just clarify the situation with Anthony Martial? Um, I know you spoke about it before the match. Did, did Marcus pick up a knock as well? Uh, and can we expect to see David De Gea between the sticks on, on Thursday against Granada? Uh, first, Marcus, his foot, uh, I think he got caught with a tackle, so he couldn't carry on. Of course, very uh, unfortunate uh, situation again with Anthony being out for uh, a few weeks. Quite, quite. If we get him back before the end of the season, I'll be surprised. So he sprained his knee, which is uh, not nice. But you know, you never know when they go away on internationals, but uh, we've lost a, a very important player there. Um, then again, that's, that's football for you. And uh, with the uh, Dean and David situation, I know it's, something that will uh, create headlines and uh, fish and chips uh, wrapping paper in a, in a little while. But, uh, you know, I've got two great uh, goalkeepers and it's about now to, uh, to find uh, games that everyone, all, all of them, both of them will play. Uh, not in the same game, of course, but uh, both of them deserve to play more than the, what they do. And it's just a decision I have to make uh, every time. Simon Stone. Oli, um, given Anthony's probably not going to play this season, Marcus is carrying something. How important is it that Mason finds these goals? Because obviously he's, he's only a young, a young lad, but his goals output has dropped this season. His goals output. You know, the world nowadays is so... Uh, on to stats and assists and goals and this and that. But the boy has played fantastic this the last two or three months. He's really matured, he's really calm. Uh, today as well, takes the ball well, links the ball well, takes people on, hits a post, one is over the bar. And if he keeps learning, keeps improving, he'll score loads of balls. We know that. He's, he's a lethal finisher. But if he scores these goals, that will add another dimension to his game. Of course it does. And I'm very, very pleased for him to, to get a winner in the, in the way that he did. Learning of, uh, from, uh, from Edinson, for example. He's, he's one of those strikers. Who, it's reminded me of the goal against Southampton that he scored in one of the game. Jim Conlon. Hi, Oli. Uh, in terms of that uh, 90 minute performance, we saw Man United really operating maybe in third or fourth gear uh, in the first half, but really in first gear in the second half. And we saw all the best qualities of Man United in that second half. So, how important is it for you going forward that we get a 90 minute performance from Man United? <laughs> you know, it's uh, you want to play well for as long as you can in spells, of course. Uh, that just sometimes it doesn't work for you. We've now so many times we've come back from from uh, conceding the first or even two goals, and that's a great uh, trait and a great character trait. Um, 
But of course, we want to play well the whole whole period. We played well until they scored. Then we had a dip. Uh, second half, as you said, very good performance. And we built momentum and pressure. And deservedly uh, won the game, I felt. Back to Simon Peach. Hi, Garvey. Um, did you dust off Sir Alex's hairdryer at half-time to, to get that response? And, and what's the situation with Eric Bailly? Because he hasn't been in the squad. He wasn't in the squad today. Uh, Hair dryer. Sometimes, you know, you just got to raise your voice. Sometimes you keep calm and composed. Doesn't really matter what I did today. What matters is that we we got the the, the half time to uh, to talk things through. So sometimes it's uh, louder than other times. Sometimes you know uh, you you can actually get your message across and speak slowly and uh, not so loud so it doesn't really matter what i did today and with eric unfortunately he um, he won't be with us for a little while because he's been away with uh, the ivory coast and tested positive with covid so uh, unfortunately uh, he's not back in the country yet thank you very much everybody